bread. Another fall season bread is a traditional English bread. I suggest you try one of these flavorful breads. Step by step recipe. Step one. Since the evening we knead the sourdough and mix wholemeal flour, water and yeast. Thoroughly mix and cover with cling film. It is convenient to make sourdough in a container with a lid. Put the sourdough in the fridge for 12 hours. Step two. After 12 hours, take the starter out of the fridge, add water, flour, salt, and oil. Knead the dough in a combine for 6 to 8 minutes. By hands 15 minutes, the dough is viscous. If the dough is too wet and doesn't come together into a ball, add 15 to 20 grams of flour. Step 3. Spread the dough on a lightly flirred table. Shape it into a spoon and place it in a greased bowl for one hour. Cover with a cloth. Step 4. Next, knead the dough. For this, dust the table with flour, form a ball, and leave it on the table under a cloth for 30 minutes. Step 5. Knead the dough, form a ball, and leave to rise for 40 to 45 minutes. After 30 minutes, knead the dough again, fold it in quarters, and shape into a round bread. Place the dough piece in a mold or a proving basket or a round-shaped container. Seam side up, cover with a cloth and leave for 40 to 45 minutes and start preheating the oven to 250 degrees. Step 6. Remove the dough from the proofing basket to a baking mat or parchment paper. Make a random notch. I had a semi-circle. It's not easy to make the dough is sticky and pulls on the knife or blade, but making the notches is a must. Sprinkle the bread with water. Place the piece on a baking tray. Turn down the temperature to 220 degrees and cook for 30 to 35 minutes. Take out the bread. Cool it completely on a rack. 